You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! <laughs> We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. I'm <laughs> shopping, killing people for credits, and I'm going to waste them here. Insane. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two, get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. The good people. That's a good I'm going to change the We are on the under city now. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Oh, yes. It's nice. Very nice. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... So wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. My advice put lights on the village, and that's it. There's your son. Rukio's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? 
There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. You are pretty. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. He's going to talk to you. I'm killing you. I'm going to be so gentle. Well... Futuristic is numb. It's not that bad, really. You have electricity. You have uh, more or less pink loops. Wait, Upworlder! You can't go through this gate! There is too much danger and suffering beyond! For your own sake, turn back! I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts, who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukguls, we'll let them destroy each other. Sounds around. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Yes, you have already said. Uh... If you have questions, but despite my medical training, farewell. Let's open the gate. I know how you can help them. Please help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could. Uh, no! This cannot be. No! Oh, 
Again, is there something else? Farewell. Again, is there something else you need? Thanks, Mr. Harrod. <laughs> I think I do need the force on my side. Since those fucking beasts kicked my butt. Good. Yes? Thank you. Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures, like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those Horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Please hurry, Upworlder. Don't forget about us, Up. Don't forget about us. Well, I will cure them, and then I will. Okay. Serum to die. from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you! I am the chosen one. I am, I won't lie. A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone too. No, 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 not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I show?